Walker died Saturday when the Porsche he was riding in crashed and burst into flames. We have confirmed two DUAs. This 33-year-old man allegedly dated a 16-year-old and nobody said anything. But what some didn't know, or rather ignored, is he liked dating underage women. When he passed away at 40, his girlfriend at the time, Jasmine, was 23. They started their relationship when she was 16 and he was 33. And no one in Hollywood batted an eye. Paul Walker tragically died in a fiery accident. His body was crushed and then burnt to death. While the world mourned his loss, some people did some digging on Paul and found out that he has a questionable history with teenage girls. So let's get into it. We're going to be talking about actor Paul Walker. We're going to talk about how he died and some of his bizarre relationships. He was a big time actor and had a lot of fans. So when we found out that he had passed away, there were a lot of people who were devastated. And looking at how he died is even more tragic because he died in a car crash going over 100 miles per hour. Paul was the star of the Fast and Furious film franchise. He died after the car he was in crashed at a speed of more than 100 100 miles per hour and burst into flames. Paul was found dead along with his friend and financial advisor, Roger Rodas. Walker died Saturday when the Porsche he was riding in crashed and burst into flames. Coroner Ed Winters said Walker and the driver died within seconds of the crash. The coroner ruled those deaths accidental. Now, Paul seems like he was a good guy. He was a philanthropist, and actually he was doing some charity work for a toy drive the same day that he had passed away. These two were riding in a 2005 Porsche. The car was known for being hard to handle and only a few hundred yards away from the shop, Rodas, the guy who was driving the car, lost control of the vehicle. Now, it doesn't really make sense why they were traveling over 100 miles per hour as they're driving through LA because there's nowhere you can properly do that. Those attending the charity event immediately came running, including Rhoda's young son. As Walker's friend Antonio recalled, it was one of the most horrific crash scenes in Hollywood history. He said it was engulfed in flames. There was nothing. They were trapped. On Saturday, both men attended a toy drive and car show for Walker's charity, Reach Out Worldwide. Here's Walker with that Porsche in one of the last known videos of the 40-year-old star. Now let's talk about what the police have to say about this car losing control. The report read, for an unknown reason, the driver lost control of the vehicle and the vehicle partially spun around and began to travel in a southeasterly direction. The vehicle then struck a sidewalk and the driver's side struck a tree and then a light post. The force of these collisions caused the vehicle to spin 180 degrees and continued to travel in an east direction. The passenger side of the vehicle then struck a tree and it burst into flames. And that passenger side is where Paul Walker was. A lot of people came running out to go and help these two. They had fire extinguishers. They were trying to get close to the car, but there were so many intense flames. Paul was burned beyond recognition and had to be identified by his dental records. According to autopsy records, Paul Walker's cause of death was traumatic and thermal injuries. There were no signs of drugs or alcohol detected in either man. The autopsy noted fractures in Paul's left jawbone, collarbone, pelvis, ribs, and spine. Ugh, poor guy. And it looks like scant scant suit was found in his trachea so maybe from the fire yeah so that means that he actually inhaled some smoke which would mean that he didn't die like immediately from impact because he was still alive to inhale that smoke into his trachea it is interesting that both of these men have different causes of death because the driver mr rodas had multiple traumatic injuries while paul walker had combined effects of traumatic and thermal injuries i'm not entirely sure how they they had different causes but yeah both could not make it out of this but of course in this kind of situation people want justice so everyone looked at mr rodas the driver and blamed him for what happened to paul walker so it makes sense that paul walker's daughter actually sued the rodas estate and actually received 10 million dollars she was 17 at this point remember paul was just like 40 years old so that must have been so tough to lose her father so quickly and tragically it actually looks like they tried to keep this settlement on the 
down low because his daughter, Meadow Walker, decided to file the settlement under Meadow W. But, you know, TMZ and all the news sources caught along and they found out that she had received a $10.1 million settlement. Here's a quote from her lawyer. The amount paid by the estate of Roger Rodas into a trust for Meadow Walker only covers a fraction of what her father would have earned as an international movie star if his life was not tragically cut short. And they do have a point there because he was at his prime, so to lose his life like this does put his family in a different position. But I also like that the lawyer acknowledges that there's something wrong with this Porsche. He says the bottom line is that this Porsche Kira GT is a dangerous car. It doesn't belong on the street and we shouldn't be without Paul Walker or his friend Roger Rodas. Now this morning, Walker's 16-year-old daughter is suing Porsche, claiming in a new wrongful death suit that the German automaker took several safety shortcuts, which resulted in her father being trapped alive in the passenger seat for more than a minute as his car erupted into flame. The lawsuit also alleges that the seatbelt snapped Walker's torso back with thousands of pounds of force, thereby breaking his ribs and pelvis, trapping the actor in his seat. Now, we don't know how much Meadow actually received from Porsche because they actually kept this settlement sealed and confidential, so we have no idea, but... Porsche also claims that this car had been abused and altered, so that it's been modified that made it even more dangerous, something that they never participated in. Investigators determined that Speed killed the 40-year-old actor, riding in the passenger seat as his friend, Roger Rodas, lost control while driving between 80 and 93 miles per hour. But the lawsuit disputes that, claiming that the car wasn't going more than 71 miles an hour when it careened into a power pole and that Walker might have survived the crash if it weren't for alleged defects with the Porsche Carrera GT. The suit alleges that Carrera GT had a history of instability and control issues, ones the suit contends Porsche was aware of. Meadow Walker's attorney tells ABC News overnight, the bottom line is that Porsche Carrera GT is a dangerous car it doesn't belong on the street, and we shouldn't be without Paul Walker or his friend Roger Rodas. Now, I do want to switch gears a little bit because Paul was in an interesting relationship with a much younger woman, and some people bring up this story, and it kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I mean, this headline alone is a little bit disturbing. Paul Walker's history of dating teenage girls should never be forgotten. Paul Walker was dating his daughter's friend before his death. However, his fans did not know about it. Fans have become quite upset and felt uncomfortable as it was not right to live together with a minor sharing a romantic relationship. So when he died, his ex-girlfriend, Jasmine, was 23 years old, and it looks like she's an actor as well. They had a 17-year age difference, and I guess Jasmine was a good friend of Meadows. Paul was 33 years old when he started dating Jasmine, being 16 years old. Since they started living together, the age of consent in California is 18. They were romantically involved, intimacy between them can be surely assumed by fans, but I guess there is no legitimate proof that she was that close to him when she was 16. We don't have all those receipts, but there's something going on between Jasmine and Paul. The two were even rumored to have gotten engaged back in 2009 when she was 19 and he was 35, according to Perez Hilton. A source said about the couple's age difference at the time, Paul is very happy. Their age difference doesn't scare him. He knows that she's the one. He will be missed by people around the world, especially by his fiance, Jasmine Gosnell. Jasmine was only 16 years old when she started dating Walker, who was 33 at the time. Their passionate love affair lasted up until his untimely death in 2013. They were even living together in his Los Angeles home. An insider stated in an interview that he knew she was young, but he always said she was worth the wait. Now, hearing this news is very shocking, especially because he is such a beloved actor that it's gross to imagine that he's participated in what most of these people do. And some people have accused him of statutory, you know what, and that's because she was 16 and that's not appropriate. 
Any person 21 years or older who commits a crime with a minor under 16 is guilty of a misdemeanor or a felony. Obviously, Paul can't get in trouble for this, but if he were to get convicted, he could be in jail. Though, I do have this belief that if he were to get in trouble, he would be able to Hollywood his way out of it because that happens time and time again. Or they just sue their victim to the point where they have no money and they can no longer fight. But assuming their relationship was intimate and they were just not dating, Paul could have been guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse. Those were the charges that would have been brought against him and he could have faced a few years in county jail. Jasmine and Meadow are really the only two people out there who have the truth. Fans wrote on Twitter, Paul Walker's girlfriend was a minor, young enough to be his daughter. If it's wrong for R. Kelly, it's wrong for Paul Walker. What's wrong? If we're about equality, then, you know, dig him up and sit him in court like Michael Jackson. Ooh. Before Jasmine, Paul dated another woman named Aubriana. Interesting. When he was 28 years old, and according to a 2013 interview, when she was 28, the pair had known each other for a dozen years at the time and dated on and off for several years, which means going backwards in time, Aubriana would have been 16 when she first met Paul. Aubriana actually started modeling at the age of 16, and that's when she met Paul while at modeling school. These two dated on and off for several years, and actually lived together in Santa Monica and Santa Barbara. They always remained best friends and speaking weekly and even traveled together to different vacation spots like South Africa and Paris, which I'm surprised that Jasmine was cool with this. This 33 year old man allegedly dated a 16 year old and nobody said anything. Everyone knows Paul Walker, movie star and known for movies like The Fast and the Furious. But what some didn't know or rather ignored is he liked dating underage women. When he passed away at 40, his girlfriend at the time, Jasmine, was 23. But they started their relationship when she was 16 and he was 33. And that wasn't the only time. Before Jasmine, he dated Abriana, who was allegedly 16 and he was 28 at the time of their relationship. And no one in Hollywood batted an eye. What is a little bit gross about this all is that nobody started calling this out until Paul passed away. One person wrote on Twitter that Paul was part of the pedo squad. Paul's daughter's friend Jasmine began dating him when she was just 16 and he was 33 at the time. He stuck to Cali where the age of consent is 18. Now let's talk a little bit about Meadow, Paul's daughter, and her mother. Her mother's name is Rebecca and Rebecca and Paul started dating in the late 1990s, a few years before he had a big hit in the movie business, Fast and Furious. She was legal at the time, but when she got pregnant, he flat out refused to marry her, saying that he was 25 and not mature enough. What kind of guy would do this thing to his girlfriend who he had just gotten pregnant? There's a pattern when it comes to Paul Walker. Walker's history with women did not only become questionable when he was older. Since a 25-year-old Paul got his girlfriend pregnant, he hadn't had a good reputation with the ladies. Though he had become insanely close with his daughter, Meadow, before he passed, the actor was not ready to take that responsibility on when his then-girlfriend fell pregnant. Ultimately, Rebecca and Paul didn't break up because of the baby, but broke up because Paul wasn't faithful to her. And you guys know, we don't like cheaters on this channel. He admitted that he knew exactly what he was doing. He was out with other girls and even slept with her friend. Meadow ended up spending 13 years with her mom while her dad tended to his life. So he was kind of absent. Walker admitted to feeling guilty for letting his daughter grow up in Hawaii without him for over 12 years. However, although he grew up in a Christian school that emphasized the importance of a mother and father staying together, he just wasn't that kind of guy. I knew where I was at with chicks and having fun. I mean, I was sleeping with her friends for crying out loud. You know what I mean? I was an animal. Paul has since admitted that he did feel some guilt. He continues, what left me off the hook emotionally was at least I was providing financially, but emotionally I wasn't there yet. In 2011, Meadow relocated from Hawaii to California to start living with her dad and build their relationship. And I'm glad they were able to develop some kind of relationship because he had lost his life so early. But there are a few more things I want to mention about Paul and his past. I found this really interesting because he has a felony for an undisclosed act. According to the 
the Takers interview given on August 3rd, 2009. In response to the question about the worst thing he had ever done, Paul revealed that he, when he was 18 years old, had faced felony charges for an undisclosed act. He also reveals that early in life, he learned to use his good looks and ability to charm people to get out of trouble. He was quoted saying, I was 18 years old and for two weeks I was facing a felony. So I was pretty bad, but I didn't hurt anyone. I did some stupid things when I was younger. I think we all did. I was always the guy that would find his way around this or find a way around that. And usually when I smiled or winked, I could get out of trouble when uh, I've done too much. I was just that guy, which sounds like you know, that manipulative, charming type of man. To be honest, I'm pretty interested in knowing what that undisclosed act is. We'll need some legal junkies to comment below. What could that mean? And like two weeks, you know, with a potential felony, how did that go away? Comment below and I wanna hear what you guys think of this video. Let's go ahead and open this peel box package item from TT. Looks like they're located in MO, which is what? MO, Minnesota? Could that be Minnesota? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and see what they sent me. Oh my gosh. So you've got this really cute book. Oh my gosh, shut up. Sloan, Rich Lux, Dustin Daly, Tea Spill. <gasps> cute. Wait, it says Marky at the bottom. Who's Marky? Well, I actually, I'm good friends with Rutch, uh, Rutch, with Rich and Dustin Daly. Actually, Dustin Daly came to my house like not that long ago, and I was really surprised at how much I got along with him. Great guy. Um, let's go ahead and see what they sent. Hello, Sloan. I absolutely love your YouTube channel. You come across as a genuinely kind person. I wish you nothing but the best in the future. I enjoy watching the news and gossip channels, so I thought I'd share some apparel I've made for the gossip community. Cute. Uh, so I'll link everything below. So cute, I love that. And let's go ahead and see what they sent. So, oh my gosh. I don't give a sip. Cute, I don't give a sip. Instead of, I don't give a sh. <laughs> and then we've got this right here, which says, um, scandalous. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I hope you send some of this to Rich too, because he will eat it up. And then, oh my gosh, a tote bag. I cannot. <gasps> Scandalous. Oh my gosh, this is like perfect for the beach or, uh, you know, sleep over at my boyfriend's house. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. And the fact that my name is on this book is like incredible. Thank you so much. I'll link everything below and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.